Now let us see what happens when we graph y equals 2 to the x. Incidentally, I am using the Desmos calculator. You find it at desmos.com. I really like this this uh, application. Um, it's 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 wonderful. It's it's not like the, that clumsy TI 81, 82, 83. Uh, no, this is this is very nice, and you can play with the uh, you see with the scale. Very nice and easy, uh, especially if you have a touch screen. Uh, computer, but okay. So, so let's look at that. So we have that function, and what happens when we change the base and we consider say y equals instead of two, say three to the x, three to the x. Oh, we get a function that just increases at a faster rate, but it has the same general shape. And what if instead of three we go up a bit higher, uh, like y equals ten to the x? Oh, look at that, how sharply now it goes. It goes all the way up. Now, what if we were to uh, look, I'm going to keep uh, y equals 2 to the x, and now I'm going to play a little bit with it. What if we were to, uh, instead of a base greater than 1, we would choose a base between 0 and 1. Let's choose 1 half. y equals say one half to the x. Uh. Oh, notice, notice what happens. We get a function, we get a function that is uh, a mirror reflection along the y-axis. This is very neat. This is very neat, and it, it, it all makes sense, right? Because when x is equal to, say, uh, uh, they intersect at x equals 0 because both are 1, but and when x equals 1, two, uh, one the, the red one is one, 2, and the purple one is 1 half. And as you move along to, to uh, the red one, 2 to the fifth power, that's uh, uh, 32, so when x is 5, uh, y is 32, and the purple one, when x is uh, 5, y is 1 over 30, uh, 1 over 32, uh, because the number just uh, becomes smaller and smaller. But notice that if we have, uh, instead of 5, negative 5, 1 half to the negative 5, then that becomes uh, the, the reciprocal of that, so it, it will become uh, 32 as well. Uh, and you see it on the left-hand side of the purple screen. Now, another nice thing that we may want to do using this uh, calculator, with this the De Desmos graphing calculator, is and what happens if I, instead of this, I, I multiply by, say, negative 2. So what would happen? Well, say y equals, say, negative 2 to the x. Uh, now I am not. I'm not saying that the base is negative. Okay, let me clarify that. All I am saying, I'm taking the opposite of that. Okay, I'm taking the opposite of that, and that is why we get a reflection along the x-axis, as we discussed. We will see it in a, in, a, uh, in a separate video why it is that we don't consider negative bases. But we can see that. Uh, we, we get that, and uh, looking at the, the red one, what happens when we, say, multiply it by, a say, a factor of y, y equals, say, 5 times 2 to the x, 2 to the x. What do we get? Oh, isn't that nice? Uh, we get, we get, that's the black uh, graph. We get a graph that it, it just grows uh, at a faster uh, rate than, than the red one.